In this video, I will be comparing Sprout Social versus Hootsuite versus Buffer versus Later. So I'll be comparing these four social media management tools in terms of key features, pros, cons, and pricing. Then by the end of this video, I will give you a conclusion to help you make a choice on one of these four tools. So let's start with Sprout Social. Sprout Social's key features are its social media analytics and reporting, content planning and publishing across various teams, its smart inbox for aggregating communications from all social platforms in one place, and it lets you review management features for monitoring business reviews across multiple platforms. Now let's look at the pros. It has a centralized inbox for moderating comments across profiles, there is accessible customer conversations to enhance customer service, and there is an ability to convert messages into actionable tasks for team collaboration. Now it also has a few cons. It lacks inbuilt graphic editing capabilities, there is absence of AI capabilities for content suggestions and competitive analysis, and there are certain features restricted to higher tier plans. So let's take a look at those plans. They have four different plans. A standard plan starting at $250 per month with additional users costing $200 per month. Then they have a professional plan at $400 per month with additional users costing $300 per month. Then they also have an advanced plan at $500 per month with additional users costing $350 per month. Then they also have enterprise plans available upon request. So Sprout Social is ideal for businesses prioritizing customer service but lacks comprehensive social media content creation tools. Its integration with existing systems like Salesforce aims to facilitate a smooth transition for businesses as they refine their social media strategies. Although it is a very expensive tool, we will get into a few more cheaper tools as well. So now let's look at Hootsuite. The key features of Hootsuite are its social media content scheduling tool, the analytics tools for performance tracking, the team collaboration capabilities, and its integration with various platforms. Now Hootsuite's pros are its support for multiple social platforms, the ability to manage numerous social accounts, and the two-factor authentication for enhanced security. Now let's look at the cons. Hootsuite also has limited AI-powered content suggestions and graphic editing tools. There is reliance on external platforms for certain functionalities and there are again pretty expensive plans, potentially prohibitive for small businesses. So let's take a look at those plans. They again have four different plans. A professional plan starting at $99 per month with a 30-day free trial. A team plan at $250 per month again with a 30-day free trial. And an enterprise plan available upon request. So while Hootsuite offers a range of features, its reliance on external platforms for certain functions may deter users seeking a comprehensive solution. The platform's pricing tiers could also pose challenges for budget-conscious businesses. So maybe Buffer is better, let's take a look. The key features of Buffer are its advanced social media scheduling, the content calendar for visual planning, the image creation tools, and the team collaboration features. The pros of Buffer are its intuitive and clean interface that makes it very easy to use, the content tagging for campaign tracking, and the import functionality from various sources. Now let's look at the cons of Buffer. There is an absence of graphic editing and AI-powered content suggestion capabilities, the inability to manage comments or messages directly within the platform, and the limitations on video content including duration and supported formats. Now let's look at the pricing. They offer a free plan which supports up to three channels and then they have an essentials plan which is $6 per month for one channel with additional channels at $6 per month each. A team plan at $12 per month for one channel with additional channels at $12 per month each and the agency plan at $120 per month for marketing agencies with additional channels at $6 per month each beyond the initial 10 that you get in this plan. If you want to see exactly what's included in each of these plans for every single tool that I cover, then you can check out their websites. 
So Buffer caters to basic social media management needs, but may require supplementary tools for a comprehensive solution. Its simplicity and affordability make it suitable for individuals and small businesses. Now finally, let's take a look at Later. The key features of Later are its bulk upload to Media Library, the advanced scheduling with best time to post feature, the content creation tools, and its Instagram focused features like caption generation and hashtag suggestions. So let's take a look at the pros of Later. There is a specialty focus on visual content management, particularly for Instagram. There are also unique visual planners for previewing post appearance, and there is the link in bio feature for Instagram. So what are the cons of Later? There is an emphasis on Instagram that may limit functionality across other social media platforms. There is a lack of direct social media interaction capabilities. And again, the absence of AI and graphic editing tools. So now let's look at the pricing. They have three different plans, starting at $25 per month for one user and one social set, then the growth plan at $45 per month for three users and three social sets, and finally an enterprise plan available upon request. So later excels in visual content planning, especially for Instagram, but it may not offer the amount of features required for managing diverse multi-platform social media efforts. Choosing the right social media management tool depends on your business requirements, budget and preferences. Each platform offers unique features and benefits tailored to specific needs. In my opinion, Sprout Social is the best tool, but it's also the most expensive by far. So if you are a smaller business, then I would opt for Buffer or Later since they have cheaper plans. So whether you prioritize analytics, content creation or team collaboration, there is a tool suited for your requirements. So consider factors like ease of use, pricing and integration capabilities to make an informed decision. And many of these tools actually have free trials that let you try them out. So I definitely recommend trying all of them out and seeing which one is best for you specifically. So that concludes this comparison of Sprout Social versus Hootsuite versus Buffer versus Later. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.